Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video guys, thank you all the members, thank you all the patrons, make sure to subscribe and let's go guys, so patch day is here, the patch has been dropped and let's show some of the minor differences between the dev and the live server and some other things. So, uh, yeah, let's just hop right into it. I don't want this video to be too long. New top tier aircraft for the Germans, of course. The MiG-29G. So, yeah, let's just show the differences. Uh, remember, the payloads are the same as the normal 913 and 912A with the addition of the R27ET and the R73, okay? Uh, so, there is that. Of course, we have this very cool uh, gray uh, Luftwaffe uh, skin, but we do have some others that were shown in the dev stream. So uh, we have here one that has kind of a US flag, which is the oddest thing ever. I don't like this one, it's too weird in my opinion. But this one, yes, my grandma would love this thing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, very, very German skin, like a very, very German one. I, I, I'm gonna buy this one. Just because of it, it's 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 cool. <laughs> and let's test fly it because, uh, of course, uh, it probably has a, a cockpit or something, right? So of course, um, it is pretty much the same aircraft, but it has some minor differences. Um, let's see the cockpit. Mm, makes sense. So yeah, as you see, the cockpit is, is updated, so you can see that we are uh, with feet there, knots and. You know English stuff so that's uh, pretty cool actually uh, it doesn't change much of course it is still a MiG-29 and but it's still I, I, I thought that screen would be different actually but I don't know and the HUD is still in Russian so yeah uh, but yeah the flight model everything else is pretty much the same so let's just return to the hangar and show the other things uh, the second thing that I wanted to show, obviously, is the JH. A very, very interesting aircraft. Here it is, guys. So, yes, um, you can see that it has a very, very strong WS engine, uh, which is basically a Rolls-Royce Spey made in China. Uh, it has the 23mm in the oddest position ever, just like um, we thought it would have. The JL-10 Raider, not the greatest radar ever but it, it is an interesting one as you see you have um, a pretty good RWR as well IRST apparently I'm gonna check what if it's the is it the helmet no I don't think so uh, but yeah we're going to test fly it but yeah no skins for it this is the only skin oh no it has a skin once I actually um, entered the game it, it didn't have it but now it does so yeah, demonstration skin, pretty pretty cool one, not a not an ugly one. I like the normal one, but still. And as you see, we have some interesting weapon systems. So we have the PL5C, a new version of the PL5. It turns, uh, you know, 30 Gs, but apparently it has a little bit more range, and it is all aspect as well. It doesn't have IRCCM or anything like that, I don't think, but still, it is a better version of the PL5, and of course, we always have the beloved PL8 as well. As you see over here, you can actually use the PL5s uh, on the wingtips, and then uh, the PL8s you can use on this um, pylon over here, not messing with the guided pylon, so this is pretty good. Uh, but if you want to take normal bombs, you can actually take a lot of normal bombs. Uh, so let's get just the parachute 500 kilos, for example. Even though, no, I think this one is cooler to see. Let's see how many bombs you can actually take. It's a lot of bombs, man. So let me just add it up. And then you add the PL5s over here. This is too much weight. Let's take both these. And let's see how you... So yeah, as you see, it, it, take, it can take some pretty, pretty good bombs. 2,250... Uh, bomb so very very interesting 84 large caliber countermeasures and as you see of course we can take the LS 500 and the LS 1000 so um, let's just go in a test flight with it of course the performance I will need to do another test flight and I will do a proper video just with this 
It just it's just like the Spay engine. The radar is just a normal radar, nothing too crazy. Pull stopper. The cockpit, as you see, it is a pretty standard one for these type of aircraft. Nothing too fancy, I don't think. And it's very high up the side parts of it. So yeah, very. It is a, an okay one. I think it's going to be good. Uh, as you see, the RWR is a pretty good one. You can see the PL5C over there, the PL8. And then we have the camera, which is a very modern one with a lot of zoom, as you see. And of course, let me lock something up. The maneuverability appears to be very, very good, actually. It's not the worst thing ever. Look at the zoom on this thing, man. And of course, it is laser guided, so you need to maintain the lock. But yeah. It's a very interesting bomb. It feels the back part it feels like a GBU-12, but the rest it's like a Russian bomb. It's very weird. But very, very cool. Um where is the PL5? Where are the targets? Yeah, we don't have a helmet, but it doesn't matter. The PL5C I feel it's going to be a very effective missile actually. Should be locking. Yeah, it's 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 too fast. I'm too close, of course. Come on. It's a very fast missile, man. <laughs> but it has basically apparently the same burn time as the PLB, the PL5B, and it feels like a normal aircraft. You know, um, a normal missile. I mean. Um, it's just a little bit more all aspect. Let's destroy another target over there. This thing is gonna be good in the cast. Because of these 1000 bombs, man. They're going to be so effective because it's 1000 kilograms. So it's a very, very big bomb. Very, very cool. With a very good zoom, a very good thermal. And it's pretty fast, as you see. Let me just um, get the aircraft without anything. Uh, just missiles, just to see how it performs. Let's see, like, just, just four missiles. Just to, to see how it is in the minimal fuel uh, on the performance side of things. Uh, Air-to-air thing. Remember, this thing, I, I, I mean, some people claim that it can't. But according to some sources as well... Um, it should be carrying the PL-12 in the future. I don't know if that's correct or not, but it is pretty interesting, man. It's a very fast aircraft. I mean, of course, you have two Spay engines, so yes, you need to be fast, right? You still have the good old 23mm. A lot of people don't like this gun. I find it okay. There are better guns out there, but it isn't the worst thing ever. As you see, the acceleration is pretty amazing. But we're going to properly test this thing on a proper video with it. But it is pretty fast. And the turning capability is pretty good. I don't know what people like were saying that this thing would not... I mean, in the dev blog, actually. They said it wasn't going to be the most maneuverable thing ever. And, and it isn't, you know. There are better things out there. But it is still pretty good, man. Look at the amount of Gs that I can continue to pull over here. It is a pretty, pretty maneuverable aircraft. You have a pretty alright flare count. I mean, better than a MiG-29, for example. But nothing too crazy as well. But yeah, guys, very, very cool aircraft. I'm excited about this one. The video is already kind of too long, so let's just um, finish up, th up things. Um, F-111, as you see, new skin. Very, very cool. Um, let me just show to you guys how it is on the... Uh, on the flight model of things, but yes, uh, it didn't receive new missiles. They said that they are going to work on it and maybe add new missiles in the future. And the radar is different, as you see. So let's see if it actually has a ground radar or what it is. So let's see. Oh my god, look at this cockpit. <gasps> this looks amazing. This, is lo <laughs> this is a cool cockpit. Look at the HUD, it's so old. Oh my god, look at the radar screen. No, no, I'm not... 
it didn't take off yet but yeah very very cool cockpit this is interesting guys so let me just drop the bomb ah oh, it's it's pretty bugged still pretty bugged <laughs> as you see And you are not able to actually change the swept wing even after it's because of the pilot, right? So they need to fix that to be able to to do something. Wait, guys, what what is that? It feels like that is a a mall system. It's interesting, guys. Look at the RWR. It looks like a mall. It doesn't look like a normal RWR. And is this a ground radar? What is this? No, it's a it's an air to air radar, but still very interesting. Let's let's go back to the hangar over here to check it out. But feels like a very good aircraft. Cannot wait to see better versions of it. Uh, but let's just look at this thing. Uh, detection. It has a mall system. What do you mean? This thing has a mall system? I never heard of this. Let's see if there is any other aircraft that they added a mall system. They said that um, the J-8 could receive one in the future. No, I don't think he received. And let's check the... There is another... The, the Harrier J-7, right? No, it didn't receive it. So, the F-11 is the first fixed wing aircraft to receive a mall system. A missile warning system. That's interesting. There's some other stuff over here, um, like the Tiger head block uh, two over here with the spikes. As you see, pretty good. Um, just to wrap it up the video, uh, the Mi-8 AMTSH. As you see, I probably will do a video with it. Very very cool. Has some interesting skins as well. And as you see, you can take that pod that I talked about in the in the dev. Eagles, Sturm missiles, and apparently because of the Russian flag, it is a very modern Mi-8, so very, very cool. It is right here, 9.7, as you see. You can take some very interesting loadouts of weapons. Um, and there are minor, other minor things, like, um, I'm not going to mention every single one of them. Where is the uh, 109s, for example, they are all here. So, yeah, there's a lot of... A lot of things to talk about, right? So I don't want this video to be too long. 99% of the things I already showed um, in the dev um, server. So I'm not going to show every single thing right now. Um, but it is very much a small patch. Although it is pretty interesting and pretty fun, I think. Uh, let me know in the comments what you want to see in the upcoming videos. I will be flying the aircraft, be driving the tanks, flying the helicopters. But anyway, these are the major changes in the aircraft, especially because it's the main focus of the channel. Um, there are some other minor things. I will leave the change log in the description. I see you guys on the next one. Make sure to subscribe and bye. See ya.